There is not a single building in the world that does not have an impact on the environment. That being said, the way we build can make a great contribution towards reducing this impact. In the United States, buildings account for 14% of potable water consumption, 30% of waste output, 40% of raw materials use, 38% of carbon dioxide emissions, 24-50% to of energy use, and 72% of electricity consumption. With 38% of the carbon dioxide emissions, buildings are on the top of the list and produce even more carbon dioxide than transportation and industrial, which is also important to know for the exam purposes. And all the built environment contributes to 67% of all greenhouse gas emissions. But why do our buildings harm the environment? First, when we clear the land to make way for a development, the wildlife habitat in that area is destroyed and the pre-existing permeable soil becomes an impermeable surface. Second, we manufacture building products that pollute water, air, release toxic chemicals, and emit greenhouse gases. Furthermore, during the building operations phase, the building consumes energy, which further increases greenhouse gas emissions and adds to potable water consumption, which later becomes a waste product. With the commuting of building users and visitors to the building, the use of single occupancy vehicles results in increased energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. The list of aspects related to environmental impact is seemingly endless. And now, let's take a look at the benefits of green buildings. When looking at the statistics of green buildings, a study by the New Buildings Institute found that average energy use intensity of green buildings are 24% lower when compared to typical buildings. Additionally, U.S. General Services Administration survey among 12 green buildings state that green buildings accomplish 26% energy use reduction, 27% higher levels of occupant satisfaction, 13% lower maintenance costs, and 33% lower carbon dioxide emissions. Occupants of green buildings are exposed to far lower levels of indoor pollutants and have higher air, lighting, and acoustical qualities. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, people in the United States spend, on average, 90% of their time indoors, which means that developing green buildings will make a serious contribution to the health and comfort of the building occupants, as well as to their productivity. Regenerative design is also an important aspect to mention that can be seen to be one step ahead of sustainable design. Regenerative design is a type of building design that creates no waste and provides more output than consumed input. As regenerative design projects do not use any more energy than they produce, they are able to return the excess energy to the utility. Please note that these types of projects, which only use their own generated energy, are also called net zero energy projects. In addition to their sustainable features, Regenerative design projects can also contribute to the restoration of the lost environment and habitat, thereby taking regenerative design one step ahead of sustainable design.